Thank you. Dr. Celine Gounder is an infectious disease specialist and a member of the Biden Transition COVID-19 Advisory Board. And Dr. Gounder, we just got some numbers in from the CDC. It's breaking this hour. 13 million doses now of the vaccines have been distributed, but only 4.2 million doses have been administered. As you've pointed out at this rate, it will take years for enough Americans to get vaccinated to achieve herd immunity. Why isn't this going according to plan? Well, Anna, as we were just hearing from Florida, there are multiple bottlenecks at every step of the way. And this is why the absence of a national federal plan is a real problem. This is the source of the confusion, uh, is the, the lack of a plan. So, of course, states are confused about how best to distribute the vaccine, whether it's through appointments, whether it's through first come, first serve, long lines. People who are hoping to get vaccinated are confused if they're eligible to get the vaccine right now or not and how to go about that. And so this is why we absolutely need to have a plan from the top on down, the federal government working with the states and providing the states with the funding to then enact that plan. President-elect Biden takes office in just 18 days from now. You're on his advisory team. Given the trajectory that we're on right now with more than 3,000 Americans dying almost every day, is the administration considering a full lockdown to get this crisis under control? I wouldn't say we're considering a full lockdown at this time, but at the same time, we do need to keep all options on the table and see where we are come end of January. I, I don't think there's any sugarcoating the situation. This is going to be, the month of January is going to be the grimmest month in the nation's history, uh, even beyond public health uh, as, a, as a public health crisis. So, you know, we really do need to be preparing ourselves. There are a lot of things, you know, we coulda, woulda, shoulda, but we didn't. And so now we find ourselves having to deal with the situation at hand. Is there a point in which you would recommend to the president-elect, soon to be President Biden, uh, to enact or recommend a full nationwide lockdown? I think the number one priority, frankly, is for Congress to give us the resources to get the job done. And the Congress has been very stingy in the amount of funding it has allocated to state and local health departments. They have been pleading, those state governments have been pleading for extra funding to combat the coronavirus pandemic. And without that funding, it is impossible to hire and train the staff necessary to identify the spaces, the supplies to get the job done. Um, and unfortunately, these are health departments that have been seen their budget slashed since the 2008-2009 recession. About 50,000 public health workers have been lost to those cuts across the country since that recession. And so to try to be rebuilding that capacity now in the 11th hour is going to be very challenging without those added resources. I do have to ask about this new development in the UK. This was a Big headline this week, health officials saying you can wait up to 12 weeks to get the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Now, Dr. Fauci has said the U.S. will not follow their lead because the vaccine was only tested with a three-week interval between doses during the trials. But the U.K. is defending this plan today, saying this, quote, it is clear looking at the data that the protection from the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine after one dose, after 14 days, is 90%. Dr. Gounder, is that what the data shows? Anna, that is not what the data shows, and that is uh, something of a misinterpretation of the data. And I think one of the things that we have made it very clear as the Biden advisory board is that the new administration will be leading based on the data. And, and I think, you know, backing up a little bit, if you look at where the bottlenecks are, is the bottleneck the manufacture of the vaccine? Is it the distribution of the vaccine? Is it getting the vaccine in people's arms? And, and right now, some of the biggest bottlenecks are at that very last final mile. Not It's not about the vaccine uh, manufacturing. And so, you know, I think it makes more sense to follow the science and address the, the obstacles that are really preventing more people from getting vaccinated right now. 2020 was obviously a tough year for our whole country. I know for you and other healthcare workers, it must have been extra painful. Just on a personal note, I wonder what it felt like when the ball dropped to put this awful year in the past. Um, I did not stay up until midnight. I really just wanted to get the year over with. Uh, so my husband and I went to bed around 10. And I can tell you, 
um, we probably spent about a half hour just crying um, before we went to bed because I just was sort of, you know, thinking back on the year behind us and everything that had happened, and it was pretty overwhelming just to, to think about that. Ah, no, no kidding. And we have so much more ahead of us, obviously, in the new year, but hopefully it's a fresh start and hopefully a much um, brighter future for the country. Dr. Celine Gounder, we appreciate it. As always, thank you for being with us.